Okay, so here is Roan Oak, right here, right, right, this is it right here. This is a cool little place. I like it. A uh, little small, but um, I think that for the space that they have, I think they did good use with it. So it's, it's a three story, right, or like two and a half story complex. But here's what it looks like on the outside. Um, not much of a sidewalk. You can see kind of a little driveway here just kind of step up into the garage but that's us right here uh, so let's just take a look around to see the entrance is right there you can see the gate to come in off of Roanoke right there so you come into the gate you just make a little turnaround and then boom you're you're at the house all right so this is this is it we're really really close to the medical center looks like they have like a little community area here for people who maybe want to have a smoke or something like that right here uh let's go take a look inside the home i really like it it's nice um they uh did did really well with decorating so here's the driveway part right here we got one car i'm sorry one door two car garage We've got some separation going on right here. Huh. Like you can actually stick, I could probably stick my fingers in there. Hmm. So you're supposed to have a, wheat, a screed, like it's called a weep screed below the, below the stucco so that it can vent out. And I don't really see, unless I'm missing it, but I don't see like any type of holes or anything where it can breathe. Now the thing about stucco is it looks nice, but it's a little hard to maintain because you know eventually it's gonna crack and then you've got to seal it up and then repaint it and stuff. And so you'll you know you'll always be able to see those cracks and stuff. But let me see if we can see a screed in here. Ugh. Yeah, you see that little hole? Ugh. Where is it? Like right there? There's like a little hole right there. That's what you're supposed to have all the way around uh, the hole wherever there's stucco. All right, so I don't know if I saw that above the garage door, but let's take a look around. It's not like a huge, uh, huge, huge deal, but you do want to have something there so it can it can easily be cut. Well, I'm gonna say easily, but it can be cut and added so that you can get ventilation behind. So we come inside. <clears throat> as soon as we come inside, we've got the living room right here, and then our kitchen right here. And then the stairs to go up into the uh, second story and the third uh, third story, which is kind of just the living room area. But let's take a look around. So we'll stop right here. Pan around. I think the finish out of this house is really nice. It does have kind of like a farm style finish to it. We've got our little dining room area here. They have a four chair table set up. The island is a good, good size. Looks like this is granite. dishwasher so I don't know if anyone's living here but it, it, I mean, it's a pretty clean place for sure I was like is somebody living here or is it just staged it as if someone's living here we've got a gas cooktop with an oven on the bottom I like how we have glass on both sides yeah I think there's somebody living here so back over here is your half bath. A little tight, so we come in. The floor is tile. It's got the wood look to it, but it's either porcelain or ceramic tile. 
and then you can see the baseboards have like that farm look baseboard uh pantry coat closet i guess you would keep like your dust pans and your brooms and everything there other cleaning equipment cleaning materials there garage tankless water heater gas you you got your gas line right here so it's like hot water on demand It's a cute little house, right? Um, the living room is a little bit small, I think. Let me see. So you got your, you got one um, couch, two chairs, and then your other chairs are like right here. So even if you push these in, you still don't have much much of a walkway behind the couch unless you got some smaller stools which you could do push this in a little bit the TV looks like it's about a 55 inch TV the doors tall um, I do like the way the color of this stain that they use it's kind of a light light brownish grayish color uh the runs are not real wood this is i think kind of like a veneer finish on it so you can see it's kind of like fading right here but i mean it does look nice but it doesn't feel like you can tell it's unless i'm totally wrong but it doesn't feel like it's real wood but it looks nice i could be wrong So we come up here, let's go straight to the master, master bedrooms right here. I think this is a California King, definitely a King, maybe not California, but definitely a King size bed. And they've got room to spare over here too, so it's not tight. You know, it's not like uh, everything's crunched together. So it is. It's pretty long. Why is this way? We didn't look outside, but we'll look outside right here. There's your backyard. That's the backyard right there. There's the gate to get in. Right there. Not a whole lot of privacy uh, from your neighbors. <clears throat> French doors for your bathroom. Doorknobs are really nice. I like these. And the bathrooms. It's really cool. So uh, his and her vanity sinks. These are 12 inch tiles, so you can count the tiles to get an idea of the area. Good size shower with a little with a little bench with transom windows for natural light when you take a shower. Ooh, point this out so you can see a scratch right there from when it when it hits. So these doors are a little bit 
it tight. Towel closet. So I see a lot of this, but you know, it's needs to get Needs to get um, caulked and probably repainted or just caulked, like a really nice, good, clean caulking job. Okay, um, master closet. All right, let's go take a look at the other rooms. The carpet is uh, kind of shaggy. It's clean, a little bit matted right here at the front on the landing, but for the most part, it's it's pretty good shape. The thermostat. Bathroom number two and a half. <laughs> what the windows look like kind of behind this behind the blinds so you got like three windows right next to each other bam 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 and then another small one right here uh this is a good size bedroom you know i think this is probably what a full size bed and then you have your closet space behind us really clean little place okay this room right here is probably the smallest one in the home little small windows there that's nice that modern look the windows so we could put one here and then another one going sideways so you can hang your pants and stuff on the bottom. A little jacket, North Face jacket. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it. We'll go outside in the backyard just to cover that area. And then uh, we'll be on our way. We've got demi knobs there. Oh, we didn't look this way. So this is a separate living room. So I had mentioned that up downstairs was a little tight. I'm seeing some grout right there. So maybe some of that tile work was done by the owners. If so, they did a good job. All right, carpet, second living room. So this could be another bedroom, I guess, if you wanted to make it a bedroom, you could. I would put a closet right here and then a door right here if you wanted to or kind of like wall this up right here if you wanted to or you could just leave it the way it is just put a closet right there Your doorbell 
Okay, so let's go look outside. So it's, uh, this is probably the, they probably did this tile work. You can see how they kind of cut it right there. Uh, this is probably the grout that they, that's upstairs. Um, so he may have put that backsplash on himself. All right, let's take a look. Oak tree right here. Do they have a garden? All right. I think that's it. We are done.